in the previous lecture we had discussion on ratio and now we understand what is a ratio and how to deal with the given ratios let us now solve some problems based on ratio we are going to solve two problems in this presentation and problem number 1 is in front of you according to this problem a ratio b is equal to 3 is to 2 b ratio c is equal to 5 is to 4 and c ratio d is equal to 3 is to 7 and we are required to find a ratio b ratio c ratio d and the first thing we will check is if we can have a ratio b ratio c ratio d directly or not and for that we will find out if the common terms are same or not in the first two ratios b is common and b here is equal to 2 and here it is equal to 5 so b is not same when you compare b ratio c with c ratio d you will find c is common here it is 4 and in this case it is 3 so c is also not same and therefore we cannot write a ratio b ratio c ratio d directly so now we will use our shortcut method to find out the answer and in the shortcut method we write down the given terms a b c and d from the first ratio we have a as 3 and b as 2 so below a we will write 3 and below b we will write 2 from the second ratio b is 5 and c is 4 b is 5 and c is 4 from the third one we have 3 as c and 7 as d so below c we will write 3 and below d we will write 7 now we are all set and we can have a ratio b ratio c ratio d very easily to find out the first term we will multiply 3 by 5 and then the result we will multiply by 3 so we have 3 multiplied to 5 multiplied to 3 giving us 45 the second term will be equal to 2 multiplied to 5 and the result is multiplied to 3 so 2 multiplied to 5 is 10 10 multiplied to 3 is 30 the third term in the ratio will be 2 multiplied to 4 and then the result is multiplied to 3 2 multiplied to 4 is 8 8 multiplied to 3 is equal to 24 and the fourth term it is equal to 2 multiplied to 4 and the result is then multiplied to 7 this will give us 56 so this is our answer So remember this pattern and you will easily have the ratios when there is problem like this. So this is it. Now we will move on to our problem number 2. In problem number 2, there is a mixture of milk and water and the ratio is 4 is to 1. Now by adding 10 liters of water to their mixture, the ratio is becoming 2 is to 1 and we are required to find the amount of milk in the mixture. So this is one classic problem on ratios and uh, I really want you to understand it in a proper way according to the question we have milk and we have water we have milk and we have water and the ratio of milk to water is equal to 4 is to 1 now we already know that this ratio is written by eliminating the common factor but we want to find out the amount of milk and the amount cannot be correct without including the common factor so it is a must to include the common factor and i will say the common factor is x so we will have amount of milk ratio amount of water equal to 4 times x ratio 1 times x which is x now here we have included the common factor and therefore 4x is the actual amount of milk and x is the actual amount of water before adding 10 liters to the mixture i hope everything is clear till this point now we will move on and we will add 10 liters of water so we have milk ratio water plus 10 this means we have 4x ratio x plus 10 and as per the problem the new ratio is now 2 is to 1 so this should be equal 
to 2 is to 1 and we can write it as 4x over x plus 10 equal to 2 over 1 and we are interested in finding out the value of x because once we have x we can very easily find out the amount of milk we can do the cross multiplication and we will have 4x multiplied to 1 equal to 2 multiplied to x plus 10 giving us 2x plus 20 now what i will do is i will subtract 2x on both the sides this will give me 2x equal to 20 when I divide both the sides by 2, I will have x equal to 10. Now what is the amount of milk? The amount of milk is equal to 4x. And x is equal to 10. This implies the amount of milk is 4 multiplied to 10, giving us 40 liters as the answer. So I hope you now have the clear understanding why this common factor is very important in case of ratios. So this is all for our problem number 2 and now we will move on to our homework problem. According to the homework problem, we have a mixture of water and milk again and the amount of mixture is equal to 40 liters and the ratio of milk and water is equal to 4 is to 1. How much water must be added to this mixture so that the ratio becomes 2 is to 3? So the question is very straightforward and simple to understand. I want you to solve it and then post your answer in the comment section. There are four options. Try to find one correct option and once you have it, don't forget to post it in comment section. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.